Joe, this is Nick. We do a show called the Found Footage Festival, and for the last 13 years we've toured around the country with our weird collection of VHS tapes that we find at thrift stores and garage sales. Last March, we were slapped with a frivolous lawsuit after appearing on a news station as a strongman duo called Chop and Steel. Seven, eight, nine, there you go. Yeah. Go up high. Yep. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. oh sorry. Yep. That's right. A giant media company decided to sue us because they were embarrassed. Ready? Yep. One. Bye. Local news has a lot of time to kill. And this can make a lot of stations lazy. And the fact that we got booked on as a strongman duo, and three years ago, we actually got Nick booked on as a celebrity chef. It's a protein-packed thing, too, because it's got all your leftovers Fantastic. in it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to try this during the commercial break. It proves that TV stations aren't doing their due diligence. This is a real lawsuit filed in a federal court, and it's going to be time-consuming and expensive, and really, it's going to jeopardize what we do with our found footage festival. Yeah, in order to keep doing what we're doing, we need to fight this. But also, we want to stand up to this big media company that's trying to suppress our First Amendment right to criticize the news. That's why we're seeking $80,000 to cover all of our expenses. It's a lot of money, we know, but it's it's actually more money than I think we've ever made doing the found footage festival. Yeah, to give it an idea of what we're working with, Joe once found a block of cheese on the ground and brought it home, and yeah, you ate it. and I ate it, actually, yeah. like that day. We feel like it's important for stations now more than ever to do their research and our appearances on these news stations show that some of them aren't doing that. Six meals or more in this milk jug, that's taken a long time to drain. This is our lawyer, Anderson Duff. He has the best lawyer name of all lawyers ever. He does, it's his real name. It's his real way. name and he's fired up about this lawsuit too and he's given us a generous rate and he told us that litigation, it can get messy, it can last several years and can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. We've put a lot of our own money in it but it's more than we can afford. Yeah and, and for any reason if we go over the amount that we're asking for, we're gonna donate the rest to the ACLU. Not yeah, none to Cars for Kids. No. They're not getting a penny from us. Oh, it's gonna be in my head all day. What we did was not mean-spirited. I mean, we're not mean-spirited people. We didn't rip anybody off, we didn't hurt anybody, we certainly didn't profit off of this. Everything we've done was perfectly legal and falls within fair use. And we think that we can beat this case uh, with your help. Yeah, and if we do, when we do, we promise to go back on morning news shows as something even weirder, like I, I was just top of my head, jugglers. Sure, juggling. And are promoting Arbor Day. Sure. Yeah. All right, so look forward to that. Thanks in advance, everybody. Thank you.